Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use SPSS to perform a brown foresight test for uh, variances. Uh, so not for means. Um, for the variances you actually need to trick SPSS into doing uh, this test. It's a modification of the Levine test. One small thought though before you begin. Uh, Zimmermann uh, once actually indicated that these kind of tests should no longer be used at all. So. Uh, you might want to double check if you really want to do this. Uh, the article where this is from is a note on preliminary test of equality of variances. Anyway, if you still want to see how it can be done, uh, there's no straightforward way. So um, I'm going to be using an example. I have a location, which are three different locations, and I have a scale variable, and I would like to know if the variances are equal. And I would like to use the Brown Foresight method for that. Well. The first thing we need to do is then actually calculate the median for each group and store that into a new variable. This can be done by using transform and then click on, oh sorry, on data and then click on the aggregate and, and then select the variable on with the factor. So in my case, that's the break variable and I want a summary of the grades and that's going to be the summaries and by default it's going to be the mean over grade uh, but I actually want that to be changed into the median then click on continue and click on OK I can actually change the name before I do that um, so let's call these uh, MDJ uh, median per uh, factor continue and then OK. Now here nothing much happens but if I go back to my data file and all the way at the end now so the last variable should be this newly created and it shows actually for each third location the median is 50 so every time you'll see a 50 there. The next thing we need is the median absolute deviation and that's going to be another variable here so that should have to do 20 minus the 50 which would be minus 30 uh, but then positive so 30 we can do this by going to transform and then click on compute variable I'm going to be calling these uh, zij and then it's going to be the numeric expression you can either do it via all and then scroll down to the abs because we want an absolute value and then double click on this or you can just simply type in abs and then open the parentheses and then we want the grade the scale variable minus you can just type in minus that median and that's all there is to it make sure the parentheses are closed and then click on ok and again here nothing much changes but if I go back to my data file in the data view all the way at the end there are now the new scores and like I predicted 20 minus 50 is minus 30 ignoring negative signs becomes 30. Now finally we can actually do the brown foresight test because that's actually a one-way ANOVA based on these and now ZIJ values so I can go to analyze then click on compare means and then select a one-way ANOVA and then scroll all the way down place the ZIJ values in the dependent list and the factors in the factor list and then simply click on OK before I do so I just want to show you that under options there is an option here for brown foresight as well but that will perform the brown foresight test for means not for the variances so click on OK and this is now actually the brown foresight test and the results is 0.04 so in this case the variances should uh, not be assumed to be equal and that's it.